I'm happy to let you know that Raul, Bob, and I think that the, that the J viewer is ready for beta. If you'd like to help us isolate the remaining bugs, please drop me an email and I'll send you installation instructions. There are a few new features I want to show, but uh, first a quick review for those of you just joining. The J viewer gives structured access to the J wiki, which Bob Terrio has been curating as well as to the forums. It also supports full text search of the wiki, the forums, and now the J software repositories in GitHub. The table of contents on the left includes Nuvoke, which uh, behaves in a way that you should be familiar with by now, as well as the ancillary pages. Clicking on a page title loads the page, uh, including forums, and this is probably a good place to show expanding the browser. Uh, which lets you get the entire uh, foreign table visible on the screen at one time. Forums lets you browse the 6J forums, general programming and so on, by date, by thread, and by post. Tags are categorized pages that don't participate in the uh, tag hierarchy that Bob has put together. Uh, basically, they're um, pages that have probably been indexed by somebody other than Bob. Uh, JSORUS is an instant search feature. It has a small number of sentences, uh, but it actually inspired the development of live search via a uh, suggestion from Raul, and we'll get to live search in a minute. J Playground is in here, uh, not particularly because it's helpful in this context, but just because it's cool and I'm trying to promote it because it's a great way of promoting J. We'll come to live search in a moment. Um, bookmarks behave more or less the way you'd expect. It's a way of saving pages for later reference. It's a bookmark button that lets you add and remove pages from your list of bookmarks. Home is the top category in the hierarchy that Bob has developed. Um, so it can be, a, I think the hierarchy is nowhere deeper than five. And again, clicking on a page title will load the corresponding page on the right. Um, I always like looking at gallery. Uh, a lot of interesting things, a lot of rabbit holes to find. Moving back to live search, um, again, this was inspired by a, a suggestion from Raul. And the idea here is we've got a phrase uh, input area and a words input area. And the phrase input area is particularly good for uh, finding code fragments. So like slash co tilde, for example. And what happens is that you get to see um, Initially, both wiki pages and forum posts. Wiki forum posts come in in Rust. Uh, wiki pages come in in a sort of teal. And clicking on a page will, uh, excuse me, a title will load it up over on the right. This is a good place to shrink the browser so you can see a little more of what's going on on the left. So the left column in live search is uh, snippets or keyword in context. The right column is the title. Uh, obviously, all J program, J forum. J forum, J general, and so on are um, from the forums. Essay sorting is a wiki page. If you're interested in GitHub hits, you can click GitHub, which is not on by default. They're violet. So slash cotilde has uh, a number of hits in J playground uh, on the on GitHub. Um, if you search for slash co slash co, let's turn off GitHub. Um, oh, I didn't mention that there is a time slider, so you can pick the years that you want to search. You can just say 2023, or you can go back in time. The further back you go, generally, the more hits that you get. Um, slash co slash co's behavior was originally observed, as far as I know, by Roger Hui. Uh, if you wanted to find his commentary on it. The wrong way to do that would be to add the word Roger, the token Roger here. There is no phrase slash co slash co Roger that occurs in any document. But if you pop over to the words area and type in Roger, 
we uh and then you say well let's take it back a ways let's go back in time a little more um there are quite a few hits one the j for c hit where uh henry rich mentions slash co slash co and gives credit to roger and then quite a few um forum hits where uh roger's either the author or uh, his his work on this is mentioned one thing is that anytime there's a forum post, this show post and thread button shows up just above it. And the effect of this is to show, teleport you over to the forum area and show you the post in the thread. So you can go back to the original post, find out what the what the conversation was about and follow it through. Uh, this particular feature is a huge time sink, I've found, uh, but an entertaining one. Um, the slider in the upper left addresses the fact that, uh, unfortunately, font sizes tend to differ across platforms. So the slider lets you pick a font size that works for your platform. Um, nothing much to say about that. Uh, the debug button, debug log, is a mechanism for turning on uh, very granular event logging. If you turn it on, um, events will be logged to a table in a database, which I'll show you in a moment. This button here actually lets you snapshot the current log uh, into, the into the browser window over on the right. And that's of interest mostly to the developer, not really to end users. But what is interesting is that if you turn on debug log, uh, all of the log records wind up in jwikiviz.db in the uh, j temp directory. So if you do have a problem, uh, if there's an issue that comes up and you can reproduce it, turn on logging, reproduce the problem, turn off logging, and then just uh, send this database, which is 10 or 11 megabytes uh, to me, along with a description of the situation. And it may be enough to help me figure out figure out what's going on. One very important point, um, the application at your direction will download about 100 megabytes worth of uh, content that then turns into about a gigabyte worth of content on disk. So that's uh, decompressed and indexed. That's a full text index as well as the structure of the wiki and the J forums. So... Um, you have to be comfortable with having that much content sitting on your hard drive. The content, uh, which is downloaded from a server, is updated daily to reflect uh, changes to the wiki as well as new forum posts. But you can download it as infrequently as you wish. Uh, the longer you wait to download a new version, the staler it will get. So you'll be missing forum posts and changes to the wiki and so on. Uh, finally, these two buttons... Uh, just above the left uh, panel, uh, local database is up to date and add-on is up to date. When there is a new version of the J viewer or there is a new version of the database, uh, the captions on these buttons will change to let you know. You can ignore them. There's no problem with that. But if you're interested in updating, you can just click the corresponding button and the update will happen. Uh, it is important to note that that 100 megabyte download can take a minute or two on a slower uh, a slower connection. And that's the story. Um, once again, we uh, are entering beta. Anybody who'd like to help us shake out the last of the bugs, we'd very much appreciate your help. Uh, just send me an email and I will send back uh, installation instructions. Thanks very much.